we just logged into a game at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Mahjong time has a 30-day VIP trial. If you haven't tried it out yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information so you can try it out. Let's check out these tiles. We have a joker and a flower, and then we have all single tiles. One, five, six, eight, nine in bands, two, nine in cracks, two, five, eight in dots. Only one wind. So let's let the wind go and keep number tiles, big numbers, five through nine, and we'll see if we can get a multiple to give us some direction. So right now the predominant pattern is consecutive run maybe, or big odds. We have our first multiple, an eight. So we have here four, eight. Anytime I get a new multiple, I reassess. We could maybe do a two, four, six, eight hand instead of consecutive run. So let's let the one bam go and keep the eights. We have five, six, eight, nine, four, two, Maybe we'll just keep with consecutive because we have to pass something. Maybe we'll keep the, f the, f the two and let the four or five go. Let's see what happens here. Consecutive run is much easier because you can go up or down the run as opposed to a two, four, six, eight hand specific numbers. So here now we have two multiples, six and eight. We do have a seven now, so that filled a gap. We have a seven for some five through nine run. And let's see, we have six, eight in one suit, a two dot. We do not have a four dot, but we do have a joker. So let's pass the five. We have six, eight, and a two. Six, eight, nine. Maybe we should keep that five because there's a five through nine hand. We could use the joker for the missing seven. We're kind of playing a gap hand here. We'll just see how it goes. Okay, so now we have a four. Maybe we could do a two, four, six, eight suit in, in one suit, but we just picked up a seven also. So now we have four through or four through nine or five through nine no gaps for that consecutive hand. So I think that's what I would do here. So let's pass on that four bam. We'll let the four bam, one crack, nine crack go. And we can focus on five through nine in one suit. For first hand under consecutive run on the right. Hopefully we'll build up these multiples. There's an eight, that's a keeper. And then here we have tiles we can pass. So the shape here is pear, pear, pung, pung, kong. So we can use this maybe to help us with our seven or nine. And then we'll let the flower go when we get to the pick and discard phase of the game. Now there are, there is a one suit consecutive run hand with flowers. We could do six, seven, eight kongs with a pair of flowers. That's the third hand down. So there is that possibility too. We'll see if we can build up our nine bam or maybe pick up a five bam. We have three tiles to pass, so we can go ahead and pass. Oh, we got a nine. So I would definitely play that first hand now that we have a multiple there. And we'll let this flower go pretty, One bamboo. pretty quickly. So we could Pung the seven or Kong the nine. We need one good pick to get set. One bamboo. One character. So let's let the Six flower go. Dots. Six, seven, eight, nine, five through nine. Seven characters. Pear, pear, pung, pung, Kong. Seven characters. There's a joker. Flower. So now we're good to go. This would be called set. Joker. When you, when you can call for every block in the... Hand. That's nine bamboo set. So we'll Kong. Kong. And let's discard four bam. Four bamboo. Hopefully the seven bam will be discarded and we can Three Kong characters. and then be ready on a five. Or, North wind. or we could draw it. That would be great if we could do that. Eight dots. 
four dots, two bamboos, four dots. Three dots. West wind. One north is out, so let's let it go. West wind. Somebody here is Three playing dots. winds. White dragon. Somebody's holding winds. Six dots. We want to let them go. North wind. There's a hesitation. The player on our West right wind. or the player on our left. I have a feeling that Seven the player characters. on our right might have abandoned the game. Because they're discarding really quickly. One character. Let's see here. We'll let the nine crack go. Nine characters. Let's see here. Table in the South info. wind. No, they seem to be here. If there, are, if there are green squares by their names, that means they're at the table. So South wind. Maybe they're just making really quick decisions. Five characters. So we need seven a seven bamboos. bam. There it is. We'll pung. Pung. Now we're ready to win on a five. Nine bam. characters. We have two jokers. These might get nine dots picked up. Green dragon. We might be able to do this pure if if people West take our wind. jokers. Three characters. Six characters. So we're looking for a five bam now. We have two exposures, so people are going to be able to figure out Three what we're playing bamboos. with a pung of sevens and a kong of nines. Two on this dots. year's card, I think this is the only hand we could be playing. Let's One just, character. No, no, there are a Five couple. Characters. Let's see. Pong Kong. Two Pong characters. Pong Kong, seven, nine. Pong Kong and one Eight suit. Eight characters. So, yeah, it looks like this is the only hand it could be. So, anyone seven discarding dots. a five bam is going to be uh, taking a risk. Five characters. Pung Kong, One seven, dot. nine. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is it. One bamboo. Okay. So we're looking for a five bam. Two dots. We're still in the middle game. Green dragon. So this is a bit risky to commit like this, but Four we are bamboos. ready to win. Oh, no, no, I just found another hand it could be. It could be five, seven, nine dragon. Seven characters. Third hand from the bottom under odds. Five, Three dots. five, it would be five bam kong, Three pung bamboos. seven bam, kong nine bam, pung green dragon. Red dragon. But there's already uh, two green dragons out, so they're probably going to know that we need that five bam. Eight characters. Either way, either way a five bam is going to be a risky dot. discard. Nine bamboos. Okay, there goes one joker. Oh, they got a win on it. Okay, so I think our player to the left was holding our tile. So we have here four, five, quint with flowers. Nicely done. Very nice. And here we have a, a player holding our five band because they knew we needed it. So that is the risk when you have multiple exposures. And then over here, it looks like they're trying for news with like numbers and twos under winds and dragons. And then of course here we're ready to win on a five bam. And it was in the wall. There was one in the wall or two in the wall that we could have drawn, which would have been nice if we had gotten there quicker. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.